Oh, he plays it over the top, chested by Nunez. Oh, he rounds the keeper and puts him face first in the dirt and scores. What a play. <laughs> Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 61, the finale for FM20, our last episode. Arsenal and Wolves on the agenda today. Uh, taking a look back, of course, uh, we lost uh, to Leicester and Man City in the FA Cup semifinal last time. We looked good against Burnley, got a 4-1 win. Pavlovich got a goal, Nunez, Mitchell on a penalty, and Fisher. Right, at, coming right out of the uh, intermission, all with goals as we cruise to a 4-1 win. West Brom got the go-ahead goal in the 88th minute, and we needed a Craig Mitchell miracle in stoppage time to equalize as we drop points to a bottom table team once again. And that pretty much put a nail in the coffin for the season. We have dropped to ninth position, and we're hoping to hang on just to top half at this point. Uh, Wolves have gotten in front of us. Our goal differential has dried up with the losses. Uh, now 11 defeats, 14 draws. Just abysmal, abysmal. Newcastle, 14 losses and a negative five goal differential in eighth, in sixth position. How crazy is that? We could have had that. We could have had that. Now, we still have a game in hand. That would put us on 50. Now, Tottenham is still up there as well with a game in hand. But just talking about, so we would be three points behind with this match. And then if Newcastle loses their final one, we with two wins, we should be goal differential able to compete with any of these people so we'll see here's who we're going with Nunez and Marinov up top Mitchell Henderson Coffee, Fisher in the mid Serkin Pavlovich Bilotti Asta on the back line and you know what I'm gonna give Nomov a start we have Collins on the bench and unfortunately Ids uh, pulled an abdominal muscle and he is out two weeks Likely done for the season, unfortunately. So we lose one of our top two strikers. Um, Marinov, one goal in five. You know what? I'm going to play Collins. This is a chance to bring one of our team leaders, bring him on for the end of the series, right? I think we do that. He's in better form. He's playing better. By God. Let's give him a chance. Worst that can happen is he sucks. Marinov hasn't really lit it up this year, so not a whole lot we can do there. Let's ask for the early creativity. And we get a highlight. Asta into the box. Lino with the save. That was anticlimactic. Oh, a quick header there, and Saruti goes wide. Looks like there was a save there, so it's going to be a corner. Good clearance. We'll take that. I'd rather give him a throw in. Back post, and it's right into Lino's hands. And he holds on to it with no problem. Uh, knocked away by Coffee. Good job. And promptly loses it. <laughs> Sirkin. Up top. The volley by Fisher goes off the post. And out of play for a goal kick. We're looking a little dangerous. So that's good. Let's ask for some more creativity. Headed out. Henderson's there. Oh, he plays it over the top. Chested by Nunez. Oh, he rounds the keeper and puts him face first in the dirt and scores. What a play. What a play. 23rd goal of the season for Nunez. He has got to be player of the year, in my opinion. What a ball by Henderson. Oh, with the left peg. Chested down by Nunez. Rounded the keeper. Oh, that's brilliant. 
Oh, that'll be a highlight reel play. For sure. Near post! But Lottie can't get it down. And we are back on the defense now. Knocked away by Sirkin. Good job. Dangerous ball here. All right, good work. Uh, Sirkin with a nice move and then loses it. What a fight. He stays on it, and we lose it again. Damn. All right. Coming back over the top. There's Collins to the touchline. Oh, he gets it in. Oh, my goodness. Nunez. Nunez with a nice little drop-off pass. Looked like there was a little bit of space. Collins did very well with that ball. And there's a, oh, just an easy shot. We've got to do better. Let's ask for some more creativity. We're going to pound that creativity button here as long as we've got the lead. Come on, boys. A more direct passing style. We've done we've done very well this half, so I'm gonna say excellent. All right, now we're going to uh, demand more, I believe. Coffee lays it back to Asta. Asta, oh, he fights through a tackle. And he just takes it too far. Oh, there it is. Collins. Collins with his fourth of the season. Oh, what a placement on that shot. Just right into the edge of the goal. Bottom corner. Keeper laid out for it. Good effort, but no way to get to that ball. Asta Fisher did a great job. Nunez took the shot and then the real quick pass. Collins did a good job taking a couple of steps back to stay on sides and wow I'm going to condense lines see if that helps us any come on boys concentrate they're overwhelmed I'm sorry Asta's playing well, but let's bring Matty Cash on over there. And you know what? I'm going to bring Mitchell off. Let's bring Vitasevich on for him. Two goal advantage, 10 minutes to play. There's a header and it goes high. Come on, boys. Tighten up. There's the shot in, and was he on sides? No, it's going to be an off sides. Yep. Disappointing. That was close. Oh, look how close. The lines don't even know what to do. <laughs> oh, that would have been the icing on the cake. Huge win over Arsenal, 2-0. And we we looked good in that game. What happened? All right, so we're on 37. Three points back and the goal differential. Who does Newcastle finish with? They finish with Norwich. Norwich is top six. They don't really have anything to play for. They can't be caught either direction. Newcastle's going to be going all out in this when you've got, I mean, because Tot Tottenham could catch them here, you know, with the game in hand as we finish out the day. Let's see. They must play. They must play tomorrow. A historic 2-0 victory. Nunez, we are going to praise him. All right. We will be back with the final game of the season. The final game of FM20 coming up here in just a minute. Don't forget, though, 
tomorrow we will be doing the five-year look back. So I will sim ahead five years, and then we'll come back and take a look at how Forest Green has done in the five years after I leave after the next match. See you guys back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. So it's that time. We're finishing up against Wolves. Let's take a quick look. So Tottenham, Tottenham drew their last game with Man United, and so they dropped points. So we're two points behind them, three points behind Newcastle, who dropped their game against Sheffield United, two to five. So a win today, coupled with losses by them, would see us finish in Europe. But any points, actually a win by us, a draw by Tottenham, also sees us reach Europe with a Newcastle loss. If Newcastle pulls any points, then they're going to stay up over us on points. We've got to win our game. That's that's all that matters. I don't remember. Let's see. Newcastle is taking on Norwich, who's fifth in the table. Really nothing for Norwich to play for. Nobody can catch them. They can't catch Man United, so they're Europa League no matter what happens. And then Tottenham finishes up with Burnley, who are 14th, and they cannot fall into relegation, so they've really got nothing to play for. I guess they could catch Villa, you know, make a little bit more money, but... There's really nothing there for those teams. So that doesn't help us out a lot, which is disappointing. We're going to go with Collins up top, Nunez alongside him, the same pairing as last time. Ids is still two days away from uh, returning to full training. I figure he could come on uh, for 10 or 15 minutes late uh, if we need him. Uh, Mitchell, Henderson, Coffey, Fisher in the middle, Serkin, Pavlovich, Bilotti, and Asta on the back line. The same guys that you're used to seeing. And uh, I'm going to go with Gerard in goal today. No particular reason. Just figured I would split the last two games between our two keepers. Neither one has been super stellar. And being the last game of the season... We're going to give them the faith speech and hopefully send them out on a positive. And that's not good. Six minutes in and Den Dunker has put a ball into the net, his seventh of the season, off a set piece. Uh, and he just beat three defenders there. Who, who was this? I mean, he beat Collins. I'm going to say we're going to demand more. It's odd seeing us in the blue kits. I mean, the green would have certainly been okay. huh? All right, taken away by Fisher. He's on the run. He overlaps. Collins is in the middle. He lays it off. Oh, my goodness. And it's Craig Mitchell who gets a slide tackle in on the ball and puts it in. That was a fluke goal. That might be the weirdest goal I've ever seen <coughs> in football manager, ever. So he drives to the line, lays it off, and then the defender and the keeper can't get it cleared out. And we get an equalizer and come right back for a kickoff highlight. Good ball control here, moving in their little triangle in the middle. There's a good ball out to the wing. Oh, there's a steal by Henderson over the top. Collins cannot make that run. And another potential steal. Oh, my God. Come on. 
and another header right inside the six yard box. Push forward. All right, Fisher. And that opens up a big counterattack. They've got runners. That pass may have given our defense just enough time. And there's a ball, Collins. And he gets it past the keeper. Hits his fifth of the season, second in as many games, getting the start for the injured Ids. And we have equalized at two. Uh, I am going to... I'm going to drop that line just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, what a save by... Is that Pickford? Is that who that is? Sets up another corner. Headed out. Henderson tracks it. Lays it up into Mitchell. And Mitchell earns a corner. Oh, that is Jermaine Pick, uh, Jordan Pickford. How old is he now? 32. Everton. Yeah. All right, so Wolves just bought him this year for 25 and a half. Interesting. Uh, it went through the box. Nobody made a touch, and we all we needed to do was find a foot there. Gerard builds it from the back. Asta. Good ball up to Fisher. Asta again. I don't like him dribbling. Fisher picks that up. He gets a cross in. It's there. Oh, my goodness. Was that Mitchell that turned on it? Pickford with a nice save. Show some passion. They've got some card trouble. So that's that could bode well for us. Six on target out of eight. All right, let's check our scores. So Burnley's beating Tottenham. And but Newcastle is beating Norwich. Okay, so if Newcastle wins, whatever we do doesn't matter. But we've still got to do our job. We need a win. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm gonna go up to positive here. We're gonna ask for some creativity. All right, I am going to I'm going to raise that. We're going to go with the offsides trap. I never do that. You know what? It's Nunez that is struggling. I'm going to drop Nunez a little bit. And tell you what, I'm going to slide him to the attacking forward. I'm going to bring Marinov on. I don't know. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to bring Marinov on. Don't know why. Don't know why. My gut's telling me go with him over Ids. Collins. Collins still. Collins does not look that fast, does he? He just doesn't look that fast. All right, I'm going to do that. All right, there's a good ball controlled by Collins. Played back to the keeper. All right, good ball. Asta. <clears throat> I would like him to, well, give the ball back. There you go. Fisher's the one I want with the ball on that side. I thought Fisher was going to take a shot at it. Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell. <clears throat> he took a ping at it. I mean we've got we've got to win here. We've got to get a win. Uh there it is! There it is! There it is! I don't know. I don't want to celebrate yet. I don't see a call. 
I don't want to celebrate it yet. There's no mention of VAR, but I'm just unsure. Oh, yeah, he ran from behind. It's a goal. Yes, Mitchell, what what a move there to take the shot. All right, tactics. Um, slow the pace down. We're already regrouping. We're going to drop that back, and we're going to pull the offsides trap. And let's drop our pressing a little bit. Let's bring Corbo in. And he can pass, so we'll keep him on a ball plan. Actually, you know what? Even though he can pass, I want the ball out. Out. Just get it out. And I'm going to drop these guys back to fullback. Just more. More. Let's praise him. Fisher for cash. Let's do a time waster here. No. Push out. Push out. God, don't let him score this. Come on, boys. No. Come on. <sighs> ah, Jesus. You notice I don't have the table up. I don't want to know. There's a good ball out to Mitchell. Play it through. Marinov. Marinov. What was that? It was like he passed it back to the keeper. Serkin controls it. Good ball back to Corbo. Come on. Yes, we have done our... No, damn it. So Tottenham won. Newcastle must have got a point. So they both got points. Damn it. Let's see. Tottenham won 2-1. to one. Harry Kane with two late goals, including a game winner. So they would have finished tied with us had Harry not scored in stoppage time. Oh, that's brutal. And then Newcastle, a 2-2 draw. Well, so we wouldn't have won anyway. We would not, Even if Kane hadn't scored, Newcastle pulled a point. Tottenham jumps into Europa. We hang on for another eighth place finish. So it's going to be good money. I am going to be passionate. That was really special. Oh, man, that's how many points did we let go down the stretch? That's str I mean, January, February, March, that killed us. I mean, there is no doubt that that killed us. Oh, man. I don't know. Does that count as a bottle job? I, I have no idea. Mitchell, great game. Oh, Mitchell, that was his uh, 126th uh, club appearance with 31 goals. So he has been a great servant to the club. We get $38.2 million for our eighth place top half finish. Hmm, yeah. And we pay out $1.2 million to the squad. All right, let me get up to, should only be a day or two uh, for the awards. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at these emails. We've got a bulk of them coming in. All right, best 11. Ids, Powell Idzikowski has been considered good enough, and he will be on the bench behind Adam Ida. Ida, of course, 135 appearances, 62 goals, and I wanted him badly. We had him on loan three years in a row from Norwich, and then Cincinnati got him on a free. I guess I dropped the ball there. End of season awards, Nunez, player of the season. I thought he would be, and he gets 43% of the vote. Fisher, 24%. Craig Mitchell, 20%. Ryan Fisher with the goal of the season on Boxing Day. We'll take a look at that. 
Fisher was lined up on his customary right wing position. And he picks it up just on our side of midfield, takes it into the zone, and from just inside the edge of the box, brilliantly placed shot, beats the keeper to his right side, and nothing wrong with that. Probably not the best goal of the season, but it is what it is. Signing of the season was Nunez, $7.25 million from River Plate, and the young player of the season, Nunez, takes home that award as well. So we finished eighth. We were only supposed to try to avoid relegation. Uh, we lost in the semifinal of the FA Cup. We were supposed to reach the fifth round, so we exceeded there. 97% capacity in our larger stadium, because remember, they're building a stadium for us, which we will see in the five-year jump ahead tomorrow, and we can take a look at how, how much they're filling that. Uh, as long as they don't go down, I think it should be good for them. So we're playing in Bristol City Stadium, 97% capacity. Only 29 players this year drops us to third highest in the league. Match of the season, 2-1 win over West Ham in late October. And a moment to forget was early October, 4-1 defeat to Newcastle. That could be the match right there that cost us promotion. Club vision and expectations meeting. This was interesting. Um, we'll look at the club vision in a moment. Squad dynamics finished off well. Uh, expectations are to avoid relegation. So we will tell them that. We'll be cautious. Squad goes on break. Ooh, I'll get to pick the destination again. Let's go to... Nope, nope, nope. We went to South Africa this year. Let's go to uh, let's go to Austria. That'll be good. Bidstrup, top goal scorer. So Nunez finishes second with 19 goals, uh, 21 goals for Latoro Martinez of Chelsea. Marcus Rashford with 18 in the league. Nunez was not picked to finish at the top, so very good. Very good season. Let's take a quick look at a couple of other things. Uh, final goal scoring tally. Is there somewhere that we can look at? Well, I know we can look here. All right, so top goal scorers. Nunez with 19 and 34. Very good performance from him. Ids was down at 14th with 12 in 34. So, you know, both of our guys finished well. I mean, you know, 31 goals between them. Can't be disappointed with that. Average rating, Bernardo Silva led the league with a 7.67. Nunez, 7.32. Fisher, 7.31. Mitchell, 7.29. So we had a trio there right in the heart of things, finishing it, you know, in the top finishers. Assist leader Bernardo Silva with 23. That's a whopping number of assists. Hell, we may not have had 23 for a t as a team. Mitchell led us with nine. Fisher with eight. So we did okay there. But 23, that's, I mean, that's almost double Mo Salah, right? Player of the match, Bernardo Silva, Yao Pedro, or Bernardo Silva with 12. Nunez with seven, tied with Cherky of Norwich. Norwich, uh, Yao Pedro, anybody else on there for us? No. Shutouts, Allison Ederson from Man City and Lino with Arsenal with 19. Didn't get one against us, though. And uh, Gerard with 7, Nomov with 4. So we teamed up for 11, which would have put us in the top 7. So I think our keepers did a fair and fine job. Most yellow cards, Ryan Fisher with 12, uh, led the Premier League. Matty Cash with 9, Mitchell and Henderson also with 9, making the top 20 players there. I guess we can't really complain. 23, 18 on goals, 9 from Mitchell. I would have liked one or two more guys at least threatening double digits to help us out, but that is what it is. Collins ended up with five in eight starts, 
two in his final two appearances. I don't think we could have asked for anything else from him. 229 matches, and those two goals put him at 102, and that resets the club record book with uh, you know with 102 goals being the de facto mark. So very happy about that. Assist wise, we saw third. Well, Mitchell ends up with 13 in all competitions. Uh, Ids, Coffee, Owajan, Henderson, Sirkin, all with four apiece. If we take a look at our average age of the guys that started, I mean, our goalkeeper is only 19 and doing a, playing a 697 in the Premier League. Can't, can't complain about that. 25, 24, 26, 22. Collins at 28, Nomov at 28, I, you know, Carraro at 28, but we've got a lot. I mean, Ids is only 20, Nunez is 22, Mitchell's 22, Coffee is 25, just coming into his prime. Henderson will be 27 next year, just coming into his prime. It's going to be really interesting to see what the team does moving forward. Uh, I did want to show you the club vision. Well, this is new, I guess, so it's remaining in the Premier League. I got an email right uh, in that stretch between the this video and last video that we had uh, met our expectation of becoming a... Uh, What's the, what's the word? Um, it was for League One, though, uh, becoming a consistent League One club five years ahead of ahead of Vision. Uh, so <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, we did sign one of our young players in the development center. I uh, don't remember. I think it was Lewis Irving. Uh, yeah, well, he's down to a four-star now. But we signed him to an actual contract. Uh, so one of our first youth players. And they're building the new stadium, which will be done in June of 2027, which will be the end of next season. So not the first year, but the second year of our follow through or follow up. We'll see the new ground. And uh, so we'll be back for that tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I know we ended up having to pull Forrest Green out of a hat. I don't even remember why I picked him. But, um, you know, I've enjoyed the save. And I remember the, the first time we got another job offer, an interview offer, I was so tempted to take it because, you know, I play so many journeymen. That's how I like to play that it was really hard to stick with this side. But honestly, after that, it was real easy. Um, I think getting over that first first job offer, job interview, after that I was really okay, didn't really have a problem. The only club I might have been tempted by was Leeds. And, uh, but, you know, I, I was real happy to stay here for the duration. So I think we will probably do... Um, you know, I put up my FM21, so we are definitely doing Leeds United uh, in the Premier League. Now, that will not be the 30-year semi-head. That will be with the beta release, and our goal will be to stay up in the Premier League that first year. And if we have time, we'll do a second season. Uh, and again, trying to stay up and reach towards the top half and solidifying leads as a premier side. So that'll be the beta save. So I hope you guys tune into that. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. So uh, we will have a small gap of probably three or four days, I'm estimating, assuming the beta comes out when we think it will, which should be around Tuesday, the 10th of November. And uh, so hit the bell. That way you, you get the notification when the video goes live. And I will get that up as soon as I can. It, it should be, I mean, I'm going to do my best to get it up the same day. But that is a work day. So, you know, it's going to be difficult because normally I would 
record it that afternoon and then try to get it up for the next day. But we'll, if it is up, it will be a late release, like late, um, you know, my time. So usually I put these up at about 11 a.m. It'll probably be closer to 6 p.m., which will be close to midnight in England. So uh, just a heads up, just with my work schedule, I won't be able to take the day off to, to get it up earlier, but we will do the best that we can and of course, once I get started, we will do we will do daily uh, content uh, for the beta. Um, I may even go to seven days if I can do that. Everything you know, everything with me is work related and up in the air. So, uh, you know, starting from square one and trying to get a video out same day, pretty difficult. But we'll do the best we can. It may not go up till the next day. So just be prepared for that. And then uh, I do have a journeyman idea. We'll see how that goes. Um, I've, I'm kind of, I'm still kind of planning it out and how I want to really approach it. Um, but it's it's more of a concept rather than a true journeyman where we'll take any job that comes up. Um, I have a certain mindset that I want to be in for that save, and we'll talk about that when we get to it. And the other one, we may do another single team save. We may try to take a team from. Uh, from lower down, I don't know how far down we'll go, but um, we'll see, we'll see. So hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, and don't forget tomorrow, Saturday, the very last Forest Green FM20 video. This was the last for the save, but I will do a five year sim ahead, uh, and I will work on that today and tomorrow and because it's going to take some time and then we will come back and we will look at how forest green has done uh year to year in fact i might do that i might come back at the end of each season and just look that way we have current we can look at stats and everything else but with that the saddest part comes on board we are going to resign and if we look at the squad wow I'm not even gonna be able to go to it that's crazy all right overview oh here we go well it hasn't taken effect yet let's go one day and see what happens I wonder if any of my assistants are gonna go with me that would be that would be interesting Parks, my head of youth development. Ah, cool deal. All right, well, that's it. Guys, thank you so much for following along. Uh, that's three full years of Football Manager on my YouTube channel. And uh, couldn't do it without you. And, uh, you know, there were some, you know, somebody, I know we lost one of our smaller YouTubers uh, yesterday or today. Uh, decided to hang it up uh, with FM20. Um, just frustrated with not getting the views and, you know, seeing the channel grow. And, uh, you know, I get it. But, you know, as I, as I mentioned, uh, somebody else uh, made a comment about that on, on their own Twitter feed and said, do any of you guys feel that way? And just about all every, you know, there were dozens of, sm of us small time YouTubers that said, yeah, we all feel that way. And, you know, I said, you know, I, I, I almost hung it up last year. And, but I, I enjoy the game and I enjoy the videos and I enjoy the interaction with you guys. Uh, the comments, the, the banter, um, talking to Tom about uh, Tottenham and uh, Tom, I haven't seen you lately. I hope you're still around out there. Uh, we've got a couple of guys that are Leeds fans that have come in recently. So we're talking about Leeds and that's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I, I told, I posted yesterday as a response to one of those threads. I said, you know, at the end of the day, if I get five views, that's five people that were interested in my content. And as long as I'm having fun and enjoying what I'm doing, and those five people are getting something positive out of what I'm doing, then I call that a win. You know, 
I call that a win. I've made, I've done something for five people in the world. Honestly, at the end of the day, if you're living your life, you're going to work, you're coming home, you're paying your bills. Do you really get to touch five people worldwide ever? Not really. So, you know, that's how I look at it. You know, if I, if I have touched five people in a positive way and given them something that, you know, some enjoyment, some happiness, maybe lifted their spirits, uh, commiserated with them, whatever the case may be, um, then I think I've done something worthwhile in this life. Um, you know, it's only five people, but everything starts with one person. So, guys, thanks so much. Means the world to me. You guys know that. And uh, hey, we'll see you for the five year look back tomorrow. Take care. Bye.